If you plan to purchase and populate your own LEDs into Gemini letters, here are a few items that you should consider. There are literally hundreds of LED systems available today that can be used to light dimensional letters. Gemini's website provides links to some of the most commonly used systems in the industry at www.signletters.com. Most of these LED systems are sold through local sign supply distributors, but there are also some that will sell direct to sign companies. A few key points for choosing the proper LED system. Make sure you source a system that is designed for lighting letters. Through our own testing, we found that low profile LED systems with a 150 to 160 degree viewing angle such as the GE Tetras or Sloan V-Series work well in all of our illuminated product tests. Source a system that has been fully tested and carries some form of warranty. You can always find a cheaper system out there, but you really get what you pay for. For the benefit of you and your customers, we recommend not installing a system that could potentially fail in the first year of use. Avoid LED systems that use the letter for heat management. Many systems do have cool burning LEDs that are great for plastic letters. Before building and installing a lit channel letter sign, there are a few questions you may need to answer. What color LEDs do you need? For the most part, your LED colors should match the color of your letter face. For example, if you have a red face, you should use red LEDs. If you have a green face, you should use green LEDs, and so forth. However, there are a limited number of LED colors available, so with some color combinations, you may have to use white, warm white, or a LED color closest to your face color. If in doubt, talk with your LED supplier to determine the best color match. Gemini has specifically designed our LED plastics to match wavelengths of the most common LED colors, red, blue, green, warm white, and white. How many LEDs do you need? Based on the LED system you buy and the letter sizes, you will need to determine how many feet of LEDs will be needed to light your copy. LEDs are typically sold by the foot in rolls or strings with wires and individual modules. Your letter style, stroke, size, and LED system are all factors in helping determine how many feet you need to purchase to properly light your letters. Optimal lighting is really a judgment call, and how bright you make your letters is really based on a variety of additional factors. As an example, does this sign need to be read close up, or does it have to be read from a distance? Most suppliers will be able to help you determine how many feet you will need, and there are design programs available today that will do LED layouts and will calculate LED requirements. The bottom line is, the more LEDs you put into a letter, the brighter the face will be. But the more LEDs you use, the more expensive your sign will cost to set up and operate. Your real goal should be to populate one letter with LEDs, place the face on the letter, and position the LEDs to eliminate or minimize face shadows. Once you determine the LED volume in your first letter, use the same proportion of LEDs in the rest of your copy. You will want a balanced light output from letter to letter on the same sign, so no single letter appears to be brighter than the next. As a general rule, red lights up well with the fewest number of LEDs. White LEDs are more intense but may create shadows due to the intensity and are more expensive than red. Blue and green LEDs are probably the most difficult to use. The light output is less with blue and green and more LEDs will be required to achieve the same light intensity. Most LED systems for letters run on a low 12 volt system. Most suppliers have power supplies specifically designed for their system. Work with your LED supplier to determine the proper power supply 
based on your total wattage requirements. Keep in mind that various colors and systems may consume different amounts of electricity. As an example, the GE Tetra Minimax red LEDs will run up to 90 modules or approximately 36 feet on one 60 watt power supply. If we were lighting 15 inch letters and use three feet of strip per letter, then you could light up to 12 letters with one 60 watt power supply. Always check your LED count to make sure you do not exceed system requirements. Again, your LED supplier can estimate the required power supply needs based on how many feet you are using and the color. Many of these power supplies also have built-in safeguards to prevent overpowering your LEDs. Overpowering LEDs makes them brighter, but greatly reduces LED life. If you are lighting letters with the old traditional neon, a metal raceway is a requirement to house your wires and power supplies. With the introduction of low voltage LEDs, you now have additional options not available with neon. LED lit letters can be assembled onto a raceway or mounted direct to the wall. If you have easy access to the inside of the wall, these letters could be installed flush to the wall. Raceways can provide you a place to hide your wires, power supplies, and in many cases allow you to pre-assemble sections in the shop before going to the job site. Raceways can be purchased from a local sign or electrical supplier or can be manufactured on your own. You will have to determine the length and width of the raceway based on the length of the copy. Remember again that your LED system is a low voltage system that does not carry all of the same requirements and restrictions as higher voltage neon. Always refer to your local electrical codes and UL with any questions. UL is short for Underwriters Laboratories, an independent product safety certification organization that has been testing products and wiring standards for safety for more than a century. Our injection molded channel letters have been tested and approved as UL recognized components, good for use with neon or LEDs. Injection molded channel letters are supplied with UR labels in the inside of each can. As the lighting goes in the can, this is a component that requires approval. The faces do not need approval. Gemlight form channel letters have also been tested and approved by UL for lighting with LEDs. The backs or cans are also supplied with UR labels when requested. When you purchase additional components for your finished sign, we recommend that you always use UL recognized components. As we are not wiring and installing these letters for you, we cannot provide a UL listing. Gemini can only supply you with UL recognized components. Should your local UL inspector require your low voltage sign to be UL listed, you will need to arrange this with a UL contractor or UL sign shop. In some locations, Low voltage LED lit signs do not require UL approval. But having said that, some local UL inspectors do require that these completed LED signs be UL listed. So always check with your local UL representative if you have any questions.